Welcome back to Terraria. Last last two episodes we've been gathering resources trying to get new armors, new bows. And now is time to build first boss arena and have first boss battle. But while I was farming stuff to make Desert Medallion, also got mandible bow which is actually pretty decent pretty decent drop and then i was crafting some some ammos because we are fighting with desert scorch today uh our arena will be here i'm making it a little bigger and then it's time to fight let's see are we going to beat it on first time or do we need a few more runs to manage to do it but give me a sec i will build our arena and then let's check it out okay an arena is ready it's not massive but i hope it's big enough and for this battle we are starting with chester arrows and then we jump in flaming arrows when we run out of chester arrows and then we have mandible bow okay let's see how this first try goes Luckily, the dude doesn't have so much health. But still, we can't hit it many times. Like, physically. His chest arrow seems to work pretty, pretty nicely, actually. Yeah, I'm pretty sure we got this. Pretty, ooh, pretty sure we got this. It'd be very disappointing if we don't get this. Like, first boss after all, Scorch. But the Scorch is giving us uh, that medallion where which allow us to breathe underwater, which is absolutely freaking game changer. Few more, last one. Come on, come on. And now it's easy access on this loot. Catching. Uh, my. My. Desert Court story is there. I, I leave it there, I don't need it. Um, Baronite 10, 15. Not good. Moon spin jump sweep by ten percent. Well, we don't have anything else, so we can we can use that. Uh, we don't have anything else either, so let's put that there. And here's our ocean crest medallion, which is going to be absolutely amazing. I like to get King Slime so we could get our first first mount or of course I of Zulu would be also nice. But hey, now we have one boss checked. Our first, yay, slow claps. Uh, now we could go after Giant Clam. We could go after Giant Clam. Are we going after giant clam uh i'm sure first of all of course we need to find giant clam that's in sank and sea which is under desert in our case somewhere here but i guess we don't go there yet maybe we need to just go explore explore a little bit well, here we have first Blood Moon. So let's see how this madness goes. How many times have we died? I have a very bad feeling about this. But good thing is we can get Blood Orbs. 
But those blood orbs we don't actually use before. Before hard mode. But it's good to collect those. If someone's wondering, um, someone is wondering where that sandstorm is coming. It's a random buff which can trigger with this armor. So not anything, any black black magic, just my armor. Which allows it. A little better knockback on these enemies would be very nice, a little bit more uh, damage would be also very nice. <laughs> Bloody hell. But somehow we can actually almost manage to make, manage to stay alive. There's just so many of these. And the best part isn't over when you die. It keeps going and coming and coming, no matter are you dead or not. So, fun times. It's actually super, super weird how randomly Blood Moon happens. Like, sometimes you need to play so long time before you get even your first. And then sometimes it happens like now, pretty quickly. Pretty quickly. And I was just going down, down and exploring. When I got magic that Blood Moon is rising. Then you don't want to be underground. Not good idea. But yeah, what you what you have liked so far of this episode or this gameplay series overall. Not so much happened yet, so there's so much, so much things to go, so much things to do. This mod is absolutely huge. But what, what do you have to think about it? And if you have any, any tips for future, just let me know. Let me know what weapons, what I should get, what armors, what ammos, etc. All tips are more than welcome. Because I've never never played range, so this is totally new. Haven't touched too much on those weapons either. Like, I, I have a flare gun, I don't think that's super good. So, I just put it away. The damage was at least super low, comparing my bows. So we are using bow. I know you get one pretty decent, decent uh, machine gun from Wall of Flesh, or you have chance to get it. Uh, Wall of Flesh is super, super, super far away, of course. But that's like only weapon which I actually know. Which I actually know, so every single tip is more than welcome. And by the way, do you play with uh, pause mode on or without? Like, I just can't play without. I just can't, like... Especially when I'm streaming, I need to pay attention to my chat and then Easiest solution is just pause the game and you don't lose boss battle, etc. If you need just a little break for yourself, middle of battle, you can just pause, which is absolutely awesome. Of course, for crafting, crafting is like only one moment when I might, might turn it off. Because it doesn't make any sense and then things moves smoothly it's not just quietness quietness middle of your your crafting i 
And I think I talked about last episode as well, uh, about my watch. I have a silver watch which is showing time every 30 minutes, or updating every 30 minutes. There's also the bronze version which is updating like every hour. But at least you have some sort of idea what time it is. And then gold watch of course every minute. I really enjoyed there is differences. Differences between materials what you are using. Because obviously if you have better better uh, material your watch should be also also better. So I, I really do like the mechanic mechanic behind it. And it's now 2 a.m. so we have about two and a half hours left this blood moon. And then we can think something else. Like I was just going actually after Sunken Sea. Trying to find some, some place. But I died. And I was going to going get my stuff back. Or my money. But then Blood Moon arrived. And I'm running out of arrows soon-ish by the way. Luckily we get money, I can, I can buy basic arrows. I'm too lazy to craft those. Which we could also do... But it is this uh, sand vortex slash wind thing. Tornado is super nice. Can we survive whole blood mood without dying? Would be a kind of miracle. And this is horrible. I'm so used to use uh, dash. And now I don't have dash. Oh, now we are using flame arrows. So I need to pay attention a little bit more. What I'm... Where I'm shooting, can't spam it just however I want. So I don't want to waste my flame arrows. They are not free. Also, yesterday on stream, I was. I was, uh. Testing Supreme Calamity first time or Calamitous and that was horrible. <laughs> that was absolutely horrible. I mean, we survived! We survived! Heck yeah. Okay, let's get some arrows more. Six, six thousand may be enough. And we got money trout. Awesome. Like freaking best thing what we can get in early game. Uh, critical strike chance. Yeah, we can switch that. Increase armor penetration. I like that. And we got some victory shard, him bag, the emeralds. And emeralds is actually exactly what we need. Victor bars. Cool. But yeah, now we now we could go farm some Victide, I think. Pretty sure. 
and get quick tide armors. Armors as well. I think easiest way to get Victor bar and Victor armor is just farm desert sc scor scorch because then you can you can get those corals, she sells, and stuff like that for free. And you don't need to worry about those. You need to worry about those. But let's see, can I find? I think I go actually. S I don't know. I'm doing something. Maybe farming that desert course a little bit. And now I have a new whole Victide set. Uh, defense is now total defense, is now 13. And 5% increased damage reduction and critical strike da chance, 5% defense, 10% increased damage reduction when you are in liquid, and then set bonus 3 plus 3 life regen, 10% increased range damage when in liquid. And when using any weapon, you have 10% ch chance to throw seashell projectiles. And then provide increased underwater mobility and slight reduced breath loss in Abyss. Very, like, decent armor in water. That life regen is very interesting. And very lovely. And very lovely. I was also exploring a little bit and I went end of our map. There is our, this side is uh, dungeon. And then Abyss and that side of world. I think I was farming two times. Two times uh, Desert Scorch and get enough enough Victor bars. Then I got also this one. Amidia Spark. Every time, single time you, know, you take damage, you release spark, plants of sparks. Very nice early, early game accessory. Because you take a lot of damage. It's inevitable. You just... You can't avoid it. And every time when you take damage, you deal damage. Which is very nice, very nice uh, trade. At least I take a lot of damage. If you don't take, good for you. Good for you. But yeah, I think this could be our today's episode. We managed to deep, uh, beat first boss. Desert Scorch is now done. We have new armor. And we also got money, money throat. We had a... We had Blood Moon. So it was very, very successful day. Why we don't have a torch here? Who broke it? I don't know. Now there is. Yeah, hopefully you enjoyed the episode. If you did, don't forget hit like button. And leave some comment down below. And I will really, really appreciate it. All those help what we get. I really do appreciate it. But hey, until next time, stay as always. And thank you so much for watching.